Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever you happen to be watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in today and hopefully wanting to get a really great workout. Today's workout is going to focus on the core, but we're also going to add a little bit of arm work in today. So I have with me today uh, a band and a couple of small weights. If you've got those, awesome. Go ahead and grab them so that you've got them for the whole workout. If you do not have them, because I know we don't all have uh, a home gym, uh, you can absolutely still get a really awesome workout without any equipment. Just follow along with the moves and you'll still be really good to go. If you guys need any more help on injuries, injury prevention, injury treatment, specific targeted exercise, check out some of my YouTube videos and you can get a lot more um, information there. So, let's get started today on this beautiful May day. We're going to start with a little warm-up before we go into any equipment or any moves. As always, make sure you listen to your body. That's always number one. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right for you. Make sure that your form is correct and adjust the position or the posture. And if that's not okay, <laughs> then don't do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. The other thing too to keep in mind, we are going to be doing some plank exercises. So if you've got wrist issues, you can always do those on the forearms. And if that doesn't feel good either, even going against the wall or a counter or a table will work too. We won't do a ton of stuff on our arms, but a little bit. So let's get started. Go ahead, take a nice big deep breath in. Arms are going to come overhead, reach, 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 reach up to that ceiling. Now from here, just kind of pedal those hands. So one elbow bends and one arm reaches and pushes. Let's add a little bit more side bending to that as we go. It should feel good. It's like, yes, good morning. Getting out of bed, moving body, getting the fluid moving in there. Get those joints warmed up and then go ahead and circle those arms back. Let them come right down. Snap, crackle, pop. Probably for some of you too. Let's get a couple shoulder rolls in. Backwards, please. We're also forward all the time anyways. We really want to work on opening up the chest, strengthening through that back. Go ahead and bring those feet a little bit wider apart, hip width apart or so. Turning that right foot out, we're going to bring that right knee into a bench position, left arm's going to come down, right arm comes up, and then we're going to get a little flow, so that right forearm's going to go to that right thigh, left arm coming overhead, keeping that right knee bent. But we're trying to open up that spine a little bit, loosen up those hips to get them ready to work hard. There you go. One more in each direction. Voila, good, coming up towards the middle, turning both feet forward for me, clasping those hands behind you, bringing those arms up as long as that doesn't hurt your shoulder, hinging from the hips, not the back. We're going to lean it forward here. Let that head come down, let those arms come overhead if you can. From here, let those hands drop down to the ground. You're going to bend into those knees and then straighten out for one, two, three, four, and five. Rolling it up one vertebrae at a time. Again, another shoulder roll back. Awesome. Turning that left foot out, bending into that left knee. Right hand is going to slide down the thigh. Left arm comes up. Left arm to the thigh, right arm overhead. Try not to rotate. Make sure that you're really just bending. And then we're getting that little flow going there. So first thing in the morning, which is when I'm doing this right now, you do want to do what we're doing right now, which is a little bit of dynamic stretching. So moving stretching instead of static, that holding stretching to get the joints lubricated. They've been stuck in one position, even if you toss and turn all night. Things aren't moving all that great when you hop out of bed. And if you're like me, you're not hopping out of bed anymore either. Good. Coming back to the middle, turning those toes forward again, hands right to the center. Think about shifting that butt back. We're going to go into a little alternating side lunge. So I'm not forward, I'm back. And we're alternating back and forth here again, stretching out those inner thighs a little bit, getting those glutes to start to kick in a little. 
and then we're going to grab our bands and our weights or none of them if you don't want to use any equipment. Also remember at any time, if you are using a band or weights and they start to not feel good, put them down. You may even see me do that during this workout too. We all need to modify and it's taken me a long time to learn to listen to my body. One more to each side. Yay, good. Reaching on up, clasping those hands together, index finger and thumb out. Add just a tiniest bit of a back bend. Good. Bring those arms down to your side. Grab that band if you're going to use it. I am using a loop band. You do not have to have this. You can use a regular band and just tie it together. Going above the knees here to start. And I'm going to grab those weights. We're going to get right on into it. So starting with feet again about hip width apart, shoulder width to hip width apart. You want to keep the resistance on that band if you're using it. We're starting just let those arms rest down by your side to begin. Sit that butt back right into a squat. Just 10 of them to warm up a little bit more. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's 10. We're going to add on. So this time we're going to squat down. There goes my hair. Squat down. As you come up, you're going to bring that leg out to the side. Add a little press. Squat it back down. Leg comes out and press. There's two, three. Try to shift. Don't lean. Four, let that leg come right out to the side. Don't let it come out front. That's five, six, seven, eight. It's so nice to see the sun out today. Nine. One more on this side and then switching. And ten. Good. Right back down into that squat. Staying with that same movement. Other side. For one, two. Make sure you're bending those elbows as you're bringing those arms up. Three. Four, forgive me if I miscount, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's ten. Good. Drop it back down into that squat. I'm going to turn to the side here. You're taking that left leg, elbow staying at your side, we're going to tap that left leg back as we go into a little tricep extension. Here we go. We'll count this as one. Keep your butt back. Make sure you do that. Two, three. Don't move the whole arm. Just the forearm is moving. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's ten. Good. Bring those arms right in. That leg is still back a little bit. Bring it back forward. You're going to now take those arms, keep the elbows in, rotate those forearms out to the side as we tap that leg back out. So that right leg's still bent. We haven't moved it yet. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay in that squat for me. Let's switch sides. Let me turn around so you guys can see this leg. Same idea. Elbows stay in. Right leg taps back for one. Notice my left leg, hopefully, <laughs> maybe a little bit because I'm a little wobbly. Not moving much though. There's three, four, five. Think about squeezing into those shoulder blades at the same time. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Stay in that little squat. Tap out to the side. Elbows stay in. Arms come out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Staying in that squat. A little narrower. Come right up onto those toes, but keep that butt back. Here we go. Bring those arms out 
and back in for one, two, a little balancey here this morning, three, that's a new word, balancey, four, five, six, seven, kind of everything's burning right now, eight, Woo. nine, lost my balance, and 10, good. Bring those weights into the middle. I'm still up on my toes here. Give me a little pulse in that squat. Try to stay up on those toes if you can. Drop those heels if you need to. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Drop those heels, come on up. Woo, give a little extension back. <sighs> Definitely starting to feel this. We're gonna go a little bit wider, turn it out into a plie. Arms are gonna come and start in the center. Go ahead and drop down into that little plie. You're gonna stay right here for now. We're gonna take that left arm, reach it down to the side, bring it back to the middle. Alternating here. So there's two, we're getting 20 total. Three, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Four, my smoothie's saying hi. Five. Don't let yourself sneak up like I just did. Six, seven, there's eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay down in that plie. Arms are going to come out at about a 45 degree angle. This is actually the way the shoulder truly does move in its socket, the bestest way. It's a new word too today, bestest. But here we go. Thumbs up. We're going to lift just to shoulder height and then back to the middle. Or excuse me, back down. Don't come all the way out to the side, please. We're at that angle. There's two. There goes my left leg. Three. Make sure those thighs are pressed open. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're not done, but that was ten. Bring those arms back to the middle. Just hold them in there. Now give me a little pulse for twenty. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, come up on those toes now if you can. Give me 10 more. 10, ah, 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop those heels down. Come all the way up. Bring those legs right in towards one another. We're going to go ahead, as long as it feels okay on those shoulders, bring those arms straight out in front. Come back up onto those toes if you can for a little balance challenge and calf work. And then, <laughs> and then open up. Holy moly. Back to the middle. Again, drop down onto those heels if you need to. Open it back up. Don't forget the breathing part too, right? Just one more on each side. Open. Don't let those shoulders hike up. Remember those shoulder blades. Let that head follow. Whoopsies, only if it feels good. Good. Coming back down, we're going to go into some lunge poses. So I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see me here. Step it back into that lunge. We're going to bring those arms up. And then as we come down, squeeze into those shoulder blades. Bring those weights back down. So both legs straighten and then bend. So there's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, here's ten, stay on down there. Bring those arms, elbows in at the side, palms up. Little pulse, little pulse with the bicep too. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Straighten that back leg out. Shift so that right hip is coming back. 
Right knee still bending forward. We're gonna bring that chest forward as those weights. I've got long arms, so mine are gonna to touch underneath. And then add that little reverse fly for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now stay in this forward position here. Hips still shifted back and give me a little heel lift in front for one, two, three, four, shaky, five, six, woohoo, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, come all the way back up, bending into that knee a little bit more. Arms are gonna come down, palms are gonna turn up. We're gonna step it together as we scoop and touch. So back into that lunge and together. There's two, three, four. If this bothers you, go ahead and turn those weights the other way. Five, there's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, step it back into that lunge. Give me 10 more little pulses with those biceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, step it together. Let's switch to that other side. Oh, it's coming back with that right leg. Arms are gonna, excuse me, stepping back. Holy moly, let me rephrase one more time. Stepping back into that lunge. Arms are gonna come up as both legs straighten. Squeeze into those shoulder blades as that leg comes down for one, two, three, four, five, six, Pay attention if you want one side that's better than another two. There's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Straighten out that back leg a little bit. Shift that left hip back. Chest stays forward. Go ahead and tap into those hands. If you can reach, squeeze into those shoulders as those elbows bend. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, drop that back knee again. Bring those hands up. Give me that little pulse with that bicep again for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it back down, straighten that back leg out. Give me ten little heel lifts on that front leg for one, two, three. I got snapping ankles too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, dropping back down into that lunge again. Palms are either gonna go up or you can turn them this way. Step together, squeeze, bring those arms forward. Step it back, keep that chest up, keep that head up. Squeeze those inner thighs together, squeeze that butt to really, <laughs> well, hopefully keep yourself balanced, but also to get more work out of those muscles. There's four, five, six, Seven, notice I'm not hiking my shoulders. Eight, I hope. <laughs> Nine, one more. Here's 10, drop it back down into that lunge. 10 more little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, bring it back together. Drop, the, gently place those weights down. I shouldn't say drop. 
I'm going to turn back to the side again. I'm leaving my band on. Again, if you need to take it off, please do so. We're going to go into some plank moves. So I'm going to start towards the back of my mat. Take a nice deep breath in. Fold it forward. Bend those knees if you need to, but let those hands come to the ground. Walk those arms out so you're in that plank pose. <clears throat> Make sure you're not arching your back or your butt's in the air. Kind of press out into those shoulder blades, almost like you're twisting off a top of a, excuse me, a lid. All right, so starting from here, we're going to go hover and back up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now tap it out to the side. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop down to those knees. Push it back into that child's pose. We're going to go from that child's pose, and it's okay to still have the band on, right into a little push-up. So child's pose. Stay on those knees for these. Let those elbows come back. Make sure they don't go out to the side. If that's too much for you, just pause in that little plank. Otherwise, add that push-up in for two. We're getting ten of them. Three. Four, five, six, seven. We've got three more. Here's three, two. And one, press it back into that child's pose and hold it there. Let that head come down if it feels good. We're going to walk those hands over to the right side. My left hand's going to come on top of the right. And I am going to scoot my butt off the left side. Oh. <laughs> Try not to make those noises, so I need to back off on that stretch a little bit. That's what that means. That was a good example. And then go ahead and switch to the other side. And come back to the middle. We're actually going to go onto our side from here for one of my absolute all-time favorite exercises. You can keep the band on still. That's why we're doing this one now. We're going to go onto that right side first. Bend those knees. Make sure that you're in good alignment here. I'm up on my forearm. I'm going to take this left arm. The elbow is going to stay. i got to get my feet on the mat. Elbow is going to stay glued into the side. Now, if you need to, if a side plank is too much for you, you're just going to stay here with the clamshell and the arm rotation. If you can add it in, though, come right up into that plank, squeeze into that shoulder blade, squeeze into those glutes so that you're not putting too much on that shoulder, and now go ahead and lift both. For one, we're getting 15. Two, three, sorry, i got to move a little bit there. Four, I wasn't straight. Five. Six, seven, that elbow needs to stay glued in. Don't let it move. Eight, and don't use that wrist. Nine, ten, you have five more. Five, four, three, two, uno. Come on down. Switch to the other side. Swing those legs around. I'm going to try not to turn my mic off as I move here. Getting into that same position, elbow tucked into that side. Whoopsies. 
<laughs> elbow tucked into that side. Either staying down on the ground or coming up into that side plank. And here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, whoopsie, there goes my wrist. Four, I'm such a good example of what not to do. Three, two, one, yay, good. Okay, get rid of that band. Keep those weights handy dandy. We're gonna go onto our back, get a little stretch first, and then go into some other abs. Ah, grab water, please, if you need it, which I actually do, so I am gonna grab some. And then let's go into my, you know, favorite stretch if you've been following along with me. Left ankle over that right thigh, bringing that right thigh up towards your chest. If that's too much, keep that right foot on the ground, and then just bring that left knee towards that right shoulder by using your hand on the outside of that left thigh there. Breathing, preferably, <laughs> it's not overrated. Good, and then go ahead and switch to the other side again. If you need to, keep your foot on the floor, otherwise crossing over and bringing that thigh up. One more nice breath here. <sighs> Uncross. Grab those weights if you're going to use them. Arms are going to go up. Make sure that you've got that neutral, happy spine position. Belly button is pulled in. As soon as we start to move our arms and legs, this, right, this center piece here doesn't move. If it does, you're moving your arms and legs too much, okay? So breath in. Exhale as one leg comes up. And then exhale that other leg up. Let's start with our little dead bug. Keep those knees bent to start. We're extending down from the hip. So left arm back, right leg towards that ground. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you're able to, go ahead now and straighten out that leg for one, two, three, otherwise you keep it bent, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good now we're going same side so left arm left leg keep that right steady for one don't let anything rock shake or tilt <laughs> two well maybe shaking three don't push those abs out either four five six seven eight, nine, one more, ten, awesome, other side, same idea, one, but that left side stays nice and still, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, dos mas, nine, oh geez, <laughs> and ten. Good. Keep those legs here for me. We are going to bring those weights together. Legs are going to straighten together. Arms are going to come to the side. Now, if you feel comfortable and your neck feels okay, you can go ahead and lift up a little bit as you're bringing those weights to the side. 
If you can keep good position too, you can even lower those legs a little. I need to keep mine here. So there's three, four, and this wooden floor is very hard on the butt. <laughs> Five, I should know that by now. Six, seven, eight, and I just tucked my chin forward, try not to do that. Nine, here we go, one more, and 10. Now keep those legs straight, bring those arms back to the center. Little bend in those elbow, we're gonna drop each straight leg alternating. So drop down and come back. Notice I am not going all the way down because I'm gonna arch my back if I do. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, keep those legs up. Bring those hands down. Now our weights are resting. You're gonna press into those weights as you lift up towards the ceiling. There's one. You're gonna either bend those knees or keep them straight and then lower a little as those arms come overhead. I need to keep mine bent to keep good form. You listen to your body. Here's two. Ouch, in a good way. Three. Four. That's five. We're getting 10, six, need a little more padding on this floor, <laughs> seven, eight, try when you're pressing down to press those shoulder blades down, two, there's nine, one more is 10. Nice, good. One more exercise, keep those knees bent, drop one weight. You're gonna open those arms up. Uh, it's gonna wanna pull you to the side, don't let it. And then alternating here. So there's two, three, four, five, I almost rolled, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yay, you did it. Nice job, everybody. Let's get a few stretches in to end the morning. Go ahead and grab, not directly on the knees, but grab those shins, bring those knees into your chest. I've got my ankles crossed because it feels good. You can do that if you want to. You do not have to. Breathing here. Yay. Feels good to have worked hard. You're doing a good thing for yourselves here. Not only are you working on those muscles just to get stronger, but you're doing it because you're getting healthier. You're helping to support your spine. So really, you're working on having less pain. All right, go ahead, let's go into that happy baby. So either grabbing onto those thighs, you can grab onto the outside of those feetsies and bringing those knees down towards the armpits. Just kind of let everything sink here. This also is one of my favorite stretches. I have a lot of favorite stretches. <laughs> they just feel so darn good. Notice now after we've gotten blood flow going, when we work some of these muscles, now we're going into some of that static stretching. Go ahead and bring those feet down towards the ground. Straighten those legs all the way out. Arms are gonna come overhead, reach apart. Legs one way, arms the other way. Awesome full body. And we're gonna come up to a seated position. Either roll to your side to be safe, or if you can with control, one vertebrae at a time, all the way up. Hmm. All right, bring the soles of the feet together. Drop those knees open. You can either hold onto those feet, 
press those inner thighs down or hold onto those feet and come forward. Get a little bit more stretch. Drop that head down if it feels good too. And go ahead and come on up. Ah, now you can let yourself slump a little bit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Hope that you had a good workout. I know I certainly did, and I'm going to be feeling it later again in a good way. But stay tuned for more exercise videos to come. Thanks.